Federal Reserve has officially raised interest rates for the first time since 2018. That's a move financial analysts say could help fight this raging inflation we've got. Let's take a look at the big board now. That's what Wall Street's doing. See what they're doing. And it looks like the, the Dow is up just a little bit, uh, under a point. See, so they've had a, a rocky couple of days. But for more on the economy and what this means for you, let's talk to ABC News correspondent Elizabeth Schultz. Elizabeth, uh, so what this hike in interest rates, this, the cost of borrowing goes up and things like that, but what it means for U.S. households and those currently seeking loans like home buyers, who, who's going to be hit hardest by this decision? Hey, Jerry. So what this means is if you are trying to take out a mortgage to buy a new home or if you're trying to pay your credit card bill and you have interest, you're going to be paying a little bit more. The Federal Reserve is raising the cost of borrowing money as a way to actually try to slow down how much lending is going into the economy, both from consumers and from businesses. So think about it. If you're trying to take out a new home mortgage, for example, we're already seeing mortgage rates go up. It equivalents to about, uh, it, you know, that's a couple hundred dollars more per month with these higher rates. And I've been talking to first time home buyers who say, that's a significant added cost on top of already high housing prices. It also affects you if you're a business. You're trying to take out a loan to pay for expenses. You're going to have to pay higher interest there. So part of this is a deliberate effort to actually slow the amount of spending that's going into the economy now, Terry. And, and so how is this going to impact inflation? That's why they're doing it, to try and tame inflation. How does that work, and, and is this enough? Exactly right. So the point is to try to get prices down. We're seeing inflation at these 40-year highs. It's making household budgets squeezed everything from gas to food to apparel. Really, the, 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 the equation that the, calcula the calculation really that the Federal Reserve is making here is, are these higher prices worth it compared to the higher borrowing costs? And they're saying, we're going to raise interest rates because this higher inflation is a big risk to the economy, and we have to try to tame that. It's a really tricky line that they're trying to walk. A, lot, a whole generation of consumers really has not seen interest rates go up as fast as they are expected to. The Fed says it's going to raise rates six more times over the next year. So ultimately, the question is if it can succeed in trying to slow down the prices that we've seen while not causing a recession at the same time, Terry. That's a sweet spot, and it is so hard to do, uh, considering other factors that might be impacting the economy and and the stock markets like like covid obviously and the war in ukraine you know what what kind of impact is that going to have what what should the average person be considering and watching at this time you know, Terry, it's been exhausting seeing these moves in the market. Just in the past few weeks since Russia invaded Ukraine, we have seen dramatic moves, not just in the overall stock market, but also in individual commodities like the price of oil. One really important thing to remember is that if you are an investor with a 401k or a mutual fund, it's better to take a look at this over the long term versus those daily moves. That can kind of give perspective on the gain. So for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, for example, it's down about 5% so far this year. But if you go back for the full year, it's still up higher, closer to 4%. So those longer term perspective is helpful for investors. The other thing to keep in mind here is that higher interest rates are actually good for people who are saving money. So while it does make borrowing money more expensive, if you have money in a savings account, you might start to see a little bit higher gains on those, uh, on those accounts. And that's a good thing for people who have a lot of savings built up and have not seen interest on that savings for a very long time here, Terry. Very true. Elizabeth Schulze, as always, thanks very much for that. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.